Whoever I Am is the name of the song and that there is Papa Motesa. Beautiful song, a beautiful message. Well, you're very welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today for NBS Mission 316. That's the hashtag. And I pray that you have been well. I pray that you have um, words of joy and testimonies on your lips. And we know so well by now that the best way to live life, the best way is to pretty much call things into being whatever you want to experience in your life, the breakthroughs, all those things that you're praying and believing God for, speak them as they are and they will be. So it's about time that we took absolute control of our, of our tongues of our lives and of everything that comes out of our lips for the glory of God. Remember, God's promises are a yes and amen. It's up to us to tap into that and receive it in faith. It is MBS Mission 316 and joining me right now is the artist that did the song that just played, um, which is absolutely deep, deep. So he's here to talk about music, his life journey in Christ and a whole lot more. Please make welcome Papa Fred Mutesa. <laughs> You're very welcome. Thank you so much. Thank Good you so to much. have you on the show I'm so for happy. the very first time. Thank you so much. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> I've been watching you uh -huh. and I've been wishing to be here. Oh. So it's a blessing that I'm finally here. We are so blessed to have yeah. you on the show. So um, you are a pastor. Yes, I am. That is where it all began it all before began. you got into music. Exactly. So it all began with a, a, a pastorship. All right. And then music has just, it's something that has just been started. Mm -hmm. like, but I've, I've been composing my songs over time. All right. But I didn't think mm -hmm. I had the, the, the like it, it would happen that I would sing, I would be recording artists, mm -hmm. I, would, I would write my songs. Mm -hmm. Uh, for the choir in church, right. for them to like sing the songs. Some mm -hmm. some songs I would keep them in my phone. Mm -hmm. uh, but finally, till last year. Last year. Yes, till last year, I was identified uh -huh. by a friend right. who who had through my songs, and he's like, I think you've not yet realize that you can actually become a recording artist. Uh -huh. So the decision was made there and then. <laughs> <laughs> just yes, like that. Just like that. <laughs> okay. So um, a friend, exactly. God had to use a friend to pretty exactly. much remind you that, hey, this yeah. is your this calling. Is. Let's talk about that for a bit because yeah. we've been called to a life of purpose. Exactly. However, every day is a journey of self-discovery. And while we are trying to discover ourselves, yeah. ultimately, our best wish and dream and ambition is to really know what our purpose is in God. What's yeah. God's plan for us? What's his purpose for our lives? So, so I think every, when God created each and everybody with mm -hmm. a purpose, mm -hmm. But you see, uh, from the moment Adam sinned, mm -hmm. we, we, we went into a world of struggle. All right. We have to look for money. Mm -hmm. We have to, to look for jobs. Mm -hmm. So we are very busy trying to make ends meet. Absolutely. But when you get time and, and sit and reflect mm -hmm. upon your life and, and give God some time, mm -hmm. you actually realize that he's actually speaking to you. Right. He's, he's speaking to each and everybody he's along the way. Speaking. He's always speaking to each right. and everybody. All you have to do is like take some time off. Uh, meditate uh -huh. and, and listen to the spirit. Uh -huh. You realize that God has actually been speaking for quite some time. Right. But you've been easy, uh, busy running up here, here and there. So That, that is so true because yeah. um, for so long, mm -hmm. um, and I know this would be the same for most of us, yeah. we have that inner voice. We have that voice on the inside that keeps on talking to you. That voice that says, don't go here, yeah. use this yeah. land. And then after some time, you're like, ah, you know what? Something told me not to do mm -hmm. this. Or oh, something told me to call he you and check instinct. up on you. Exactly. And then like we always said, <laughs> um, <laughs> there's a voice that <laughs> up until um, growing up and then yeah. just me knowing God and seeking God mm -hmm. that I really knew that this yeah. was always God speaking. He uses, he uses ma mis many ways. Like mm -hmm. the, the Bible says he works in mysterious ways. Mm -hmm. uh, if he can't access you with mm -hmm. visions, mm -hmm. he might access you in dreams. Mm -hmm. You right. find yourself having the same dream over, over and over. Over and over Over again. and over until you sit, you sit down and be like, why do I have this dream? And then dreams so, that actually happen. So when you take an example of, of, of Prophet Samuel, mm -hmm. um, 
God called his name like right. three times, mm -hmm. but he didn't realize it was God mm -hmm. calling him mm -hmm. until he went to Eli. And it's like every time he had the voice, Samuel, he went to Eli and until the third time Eli told him, if that voice calls you again, mm -hmm. just say, here I am your servant. So sometimes God keeps talking to us, but we need guidance mm -hmm. from maybe people with experience, mm -hmm. people who are closer to, mm -hmm. the, to the spiritual realm. All right, because there's guide so us. much noise that, that so much has noise. us lost. We speak to ourselves, miss, yes. the devil speaks to us, social <laughs> our bodies media speak, social media all, engages all us all the time. Of, of crazy, but Pastor, how do we then position ourselves to hear and receive mm. the voice of God? Well, like I said, you just have to take some time off. Mm -hmm. Some time off from all these distractions. Mm -hmm. uh, put your phone away right. and, and, and listen to the word. Like, for example, I'm, I'm assuming someone is seated there in their sitting room. Mm -hmm. You might be watching this TV mute <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and doing your other stuff. Oh, but so you but, but God can us. pick your attention and be right. like, who is this handsome guy on screen uh -huh. talking? What is he saying? Uh -huh. Then you turn up the volume uh -huh. and then your message is right there. Right. So it's just about setting yourself for, uh, apart. Set yourself apart. And maybe going to prayer. God is already speaking. And then you have to be intentional. You have to be deliberating. Mm -hmm. This is mm -hmm. something that God is not going to scream through your noise. You yep. have to say, you know what? Let me just take Give off some time. time and read the word of God. Let me listen to someone. Let me worship. Let, yep. me, let me do this. And that is where God comes. And we, are, we have to realize that it's a battle. Mm -hmm. Like, like we, are, we are in the middle. Mm -hmm. we, we, we have forces fighting for our right. spirits. So mm -hmm. God is fighting for our spirit. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, the devil is also fighting for our spirit. Mm -hmm. so, and the devil is loud. Mm -hmm. he's, he's made so much noise on the social media. Right. For example, if, if, if for example you, you post a mm -hmm. picture of a naked lady mm -hmm. on TikTok, mm -hmm. within five minutes, mm -hmm. everybody will have it. If you post a sermon on TikTok, you might fi have five views. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. and for me, that is right. the pain I have. So right. I want to make sure that the gospel goes viral. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right. Um, it's, it's so like us and the devil, that is really us setting ourselves into the enemy's trap. He's, he's the really things interested that we choose, in us. Yes, he's the really things, interested and, in and us. He's really using social media yeah. like that. Um, yeah. I had the other day just mm -hmm. a pastor talking about how maybe it's important that yeah. sometimes for you to listen to God, yeah. you have to mute a few things out of your life. Yeah. The things that are consuming and taking up so much of your time, be it social media, be it work sometimes. Yeah. Like, yeah. it doesn't mean don't go to work, but you, yeah. You know, you know people, 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 people have a misconception. Mm -hmm. Like when, when, it, when the Bible talks about tithe, when, when the pastors are preaching about tithe, mm -hmm. we usually want to quantize it into money right. or make it financial. Mm -hmm. But when God is talking about tithe, mm -hmm. tithe goes, goes deeper than money. That to a point that God actually expects you to give tithe of your time. Oh, <laughs> okay. so exactly, yeah. You, you have to give tithe of your time. So in in a day, if uh -huh. you have ten hours for yourself, God expects an hour. Wow. Yes. So it's not about money alone. Our time as well. We have to tithe. So God God expects us to set time aside mm -hmm. for Him mm -hmm. in everything we do. Mm -hmm. We consider him in our finances, mm -hmm. we consider him in our businesses, but we also consider him in our time. Nice. So, so that means every day, mm -hmm. before you leave home, make sure God knows about what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. So if you walk that kind of life whereby God is a partner, is very close, mm -hmm. you'll never go wrong. He is in your life. He's in yeah. your life. He's a partner. <laughs> right. So, so the, the reason he's demanding for tithe is that he wants to stay in your mind. Uh-huh. Before you spend money, think about him. Mm -hmm. Before you go out of your house, think about, think about him. him. Before you, you, you buy anything, think about Before you dress, mm -hmm. think, think about, about him. him. What do people think? So if we have God in our minds mm -hmm. and, and we consider him in everything we do, mm -hmm. there are decisions we are going to make right. that are right. Yeah. Does this give God glory? Um, if I exactly. say these words, would, would that go. bring God <laughs> glory if I dress like this? So you don't need a pastor to come and glory. condemn you uh -huh. about dressing code. Uh -huh. It should come within, from mm -hmm. within. Mm -hmm. You think about your, your short skirt and be like, okay, mm -hmm. well, how will the brothers think in church if I go like this? Mm -hmm. A brother, before you put on an unbuttoned shirt mm -hmm. and, and showing your mm -hmm. mas muscles in church, right. think about it. They'll, how they'll would... go like God <laughs> says, come as you are. Like you know, I, I, that's all... But... That's all um, self-deception mm -hmm. because you know it's the voice is inside you like right. you're trying to be confident but something is telling you 
Because that's why people put on short that's dresses. That's very When they sit, they people. start putting them. <laughs> they start pulling them. Up. So something is telling you, uh, right. you know. Something is yeah, off. So exactly, as long yeah. as you feel um, a certain way about how you're yeah. dressed or um, out of place, or mm -hmm. if you have to do that, mm -hmm. then. Think about it. Sister <laughs> and, and brother. <laughs> you might have to check something there. And speaking of social media. Yeah. Um, I love that, that um, it plays an important important role as yeah. far as just us taking the gospel out there, even for you, the, yeah. the artists as ministers? Well, um, ah. first of all, I'm an engineer. Mm -hmm. I'm in ICT. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate technology. Right. Uh, technology has really helped us uh, mm -hmm. from, uh, like, for the studio, our DJs, they have, mm -hmm. they, have, they have really advanced the way they play music very fast. Right. Before we had cassettes, you have to remove one mm -hmm. cassette, put another. <laughs> another. So uh, we appreciate technology. It's taking us far. Right. Uh, but we also have to be to remember that mm. the devil uses every opportunity right. to 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 push his message. Mm -hmm. So we as gospel artists mm. have to start appreciating mm. um, the, the the social media mm -hmm. because, for example, I'll give you an example. Mm. Uh, how many times do you watch TV in a day? Mm. You have probably set uh, maybe thirty minutes aside right. for for TV. Mm -hmm. And and you find that social media, everybody has a phone, mm -hmm. uh, has a phone. So when you send a message, everyone will receive it in real time. Mm -hmm. So we have to make sure that we push also the message in 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 on social media to make sure people receive it. I'll talk more about right. this. Right. Yeah. But uh, as it is for Christians, um, what representation? do you have out there on your social media? Do you use it for like all the noise and all these things and um, the, the tweets and retweets that, you, that you're making? Are they those that are going to stumble mm -hmm. someone or mm -hmm. are they those that are going to encourage someone in Christ? So yeah, you, so, you have to be, you are, I mean, you, you have the phone, so you, you post something and you keep scrolling. Right. So new things keep coming. Uh -huh. Like the, 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 we have people that have a very big following. Uh -huh. And whatever they post is either crazy or right. funny right. or like like it's off topic, but um, like for example, TikTok has an algorithm, mm -hmm. so it categorizes content. Mm -hmm. So if you go on your TikTok and always you look for crazy things, mm -hmm. it will keep pushing more crazy things <laughs> towards you. Push to if you, you look for gospel, uh -huh. uh, it will still keep pushing gospel stuff towards you. So even Facebook, like oh, oh, they have created what we call AIs, like artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. So they, they track mm -hmm. your history of searches. Mm -hmm. So your interests, they keep sending you more and more. <laughs> so if you watch porn, they send you more porn and oh. more porn. <laughs> so make, make sure that um, as a Christian, yeah. what you choose, you what stick you play, to the line, you yeah. follow, is that that's going to edify exactly. um, yeah. you as a Christian. Well, <laughs> we're still here with Papa Mutesa. We'll now go for a short breather. We'll return in a bit. <laughs> oh, the song right there is um, a second chance and that nail part yeah, yeah, yeah. ah but it is so real it's real it's Jesus real. did it's not, it's all not of fiction. that yeah. he took the pain for you and I yeah what love is greater than that yeah. there's no love so greater as that um, second chance yes that's what we got that's why we got. Mm -hmm. the, we, we couldn't do it ourselves. Mm -hmm. He had to strip him, uh, himself of his glory mm -hmm. and, and come and die for us. He mm -hmm. had to walk in our footsteps. Yes. And that's, what, that's exactly what he did. He should have said no. He didn't have to. Man, his, his love for you couldn't right. let him. Right. He loves us so deep. And I believe he would do it all over and over again. again. Yeah. That's how loving our God is. And Jesus wasn't only saving man. He was mm -hmm. saving the entire nature mm -hmm. because... The Bible says in Genesis, he created everything and it was good. Mm -hmm. He couldn't let it get destroyed mm -hmm. by, by sin. Yeah, that's why he came. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I love that. And this second chance is for all of us to receive, right? All is of it us. For specific people? All of us. Talk to someone out there that feels like they've messed up and they are not deserving of anything good and they're lost. Jesus knew you before he created you. Mm -hmm. Like no one was born as a mistake. Mm -hmm. He actually, as he was on the cross, right. he was seeing each and everybody and how much mm -hmm. you're going to sin and how, how, how you're going to fall. Right. But he actually decided to go further mm -hmm. and, and die for you. The only catch is mm -hmm. you have to bring him into your life and, and make him your personal friend and make him your savior. That's, that's what happens. If you bring him in, 
this Holy Spirit will always be guiding you, will always be telling you, reminding you that this is wrong, let's do this, let's Amen. read the Bible. Yeah. Amen. So you don't have to worry about the how. All no. you have to do is accept Jesus Christ. Position your yourself, accept Lord and Jesus, today. and you are covered. You're Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Um, so much is going on mm. um, with church yeah. today and you being a pastor. People reach out to me and they're asking me what's going on. These pastors are fighting. Mm. The, the conflicts, the disunity, yeah. there are attacks on each other and everything. This is not only having a toll on, on the pastors that are involved, but yeah. the church as well. Yeah. And it's very sad because for me, I imagine if God is looking down on us, like how sad is this situation? Being a pastor, yeah. can you tell exactly what this, can you make sense of this? Well, it's, it's, it's disheartening. What is mm -hmm. happening in our church is disheartening. Mm -hmm. um, but I want to tell you that God has worked so much for the church that he cannot lose it. Mm -hmm. Like, you've just seen Second Chance. Right. He died for us. So, mm -hmm. um, like, one of my passions right now is mm -hmm. to, to fix, uh, to make sure I can help the church. Mm -hmm. And also, I ca if I can help the gospel industry. Mm -hmm. But you cannot, you can, if you're not yet in position to, to even speak, mm -hmm. if you've not earned it, mm -hmm. you, have not, you, you have no chance. Mm -hmm. uh, but my intention here is to make sure I set ground I, my music goes out there, mm -hmm. then after that I'll be in position to help. Because we, we have pastors today that, that I think, think have made it, mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. like the saying goes, they've, mm -hmm. they've made it, mm -hmm. and, and they, they have crossed a certain line, mm -hmm. and you can't even access them, mm -hmm. even when they make a mistake. Mm -hmm. So um, I think when a time reaches and I'm, I'm in that position to, to, to be given an ear, mm -hmm someone can listen, I've been positioned to help. Okay, so, so for, for now all you can for do For now all I can pray. do is pray and, 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 and tell God to intervene. Right. A mistake is what you called it. Yeah. Um, it's, it's confusing for so many people mm. out there that uh, not just the people in church, but yeah. people on the outside because they love this drama. Yeah. By the way, the pastors are pretty much putting on our show mm -hmm. for them and for the devil. Yeah. That's it. But uh, they've stepped out to, to deem the pastors that are actively fighting as uh, maybe fake. Yeah. Um, they are... You know, they, they, they are backsliding pastors mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and they, they were never really men of God and yeah. they're working for the devil and they're like, they are Illuminati so, so, and all so, these things. Well, you called it a mistake. How? how well, well, like I said, some, mm -hmm. some make a mistake. Mm -hmm. Some, like you said, some, mm -hmm. some were deliberately on the wrong track from the very beginning. Right. Today we have Pentecostal churches that, that for them are more interested in money. Right. They go ahead to fake miracles. Right. These people are not, born again, are not born again from the very word go. Okay. It is possible for a born again to make mistakes, mm -hmm. but we also have people who have turned church into business. Mm -hmm. They will trick you. They will, they will, they will sell you products. They mm -hmm. get, sell you water. They mm -hmm. sell you anointing oil. They, mm -hmm. they, they touch you dif difficult places to even mention on mm -hmm. air. Like, so, so a lot of crazy stuff is happening. But like I said, God is not about to lose the church. Right. So, and these are people with a lot of money. Yes. They are very influential, mm -hmm. but we are setting ourselves slowly mm -hmm. because me, God has given me the vision. Mm -hmm. I'm placing my music out there mm -hmm. to win souls. Amen. Yeah, to win souls. And what needs to be done to really, um, I don't know if it's interventions that need to be carried out. I, I've heard that some pastors have stepped out to try and like, you know, unite everyone but it's not happening according to you what do you think is the best way to because people are running out of church people are running out of faith people yeah. that had their eyes focused on not good yeah but the man of god are we we, we need to focus on the younger generation mm -hmm. because uh, we have a generation that 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 did their part yeah they 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 they, they, they mm -hmm. preached the gospel in their years mm. um and I think their time is running out. Right. But we have a generation that is coming out. Mm -hmm. And we are not sure. We, no one knows. The Bible says no one knows the is hour. Is this how they're running out? Because <laughs> 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 the generation that you're so referencing the, 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 is... The generation, we, uh -huh. we just have to prepare it. Right. And like me, I'm doing right now. 
I'm setting myself a new ministry, right? I, I'm, I'm bringing new energy. Mm -hmm. So I, I have people who are following Papa Mutesa. Mm -hmm. And the church that is going to happen uh, in the years to come, mm -hmm. I'm sure it's going to be different because we shall be at the same level. We shall be approachable. Mm -hmm. uh, our fathers mm -hmm. will have rested because you find, uh, let's be honest, mm -hmm. these battles are, are more on the side of uh, our fathers, right. because they, they feel like they have more power, mm -hmm. they, they can't agree on who leads the other, mm -hmm. we have so many groups, mm -hmm. but I think when that generation goes into retirement, mm -hmm. we want to focus on, on <laughs> setting up something more organized, because let's when agree, time will come mm -hmm. uh, when we have maybe a new government, right. the president could come and say, no more being a pastor without a degree. Mm -hmm. That will be a new standard mm -hmm. altogether, completely. Mm -hmm. So we just have to set ourselves for ministry, like mm -hmm. for, for, for a new generation to come. Right. Yeah. And I, I believe the thing here is you mentioned about mistakes. Yeah. Um, the humility in knowing that at the end of the day, we are all human. Yeah. And we can make mistakes. We do make mistakes. Um, it's, it's, I think that's where it's so difficult for some, s someone to really stand up and say, hey, I say this, but I made a mistake. I am sorry. It's, it's tough. Um, it's tough. More so when you are... When you are you've become a celebrity when mm -hmm. you've become a big person, mm -hmm. like like a big person. Mm -hmm. uh, it is even hard for someone to talk to you, even when they want to help you. Mm -hmm. It is it is like a choice of words has to be very, very, uh, you have to be very careful. Like King David, mm -hmm. when when he went into fornication and he, like he took over one of his soldier's wife, wife mm -hmm. he took over Uriah's wife. Mm -hmm. um, God had to be very smart mm -hmm. in how to communicate to David because David was in a position of authority, he was a king. Mm -hmm. So he could command death towards anybody. Mm -hmm. So when Prophet Nathanael came to him, it, he gave him a story. He actually went far. Mm -hmm. And David was like, the person who did that deserves death. Mm -hmm. And then he told him, you know what? You've judged right by that person is you. <laughs> so um, we have pastors today who are in big positions. Mm -hmm. they, are, they are not approachable. Mm -hmm. It is very difficult to, to approach them even when they do something wrong. Mm -hmm. So key w number one key thing is mm -hmm. prayer. prayer. Because we have one person, and I'm, I'm using the word person as mm -hmm. it is, we have one person who, who cannot be blocked. Mm -hmm. He goes anywhere. He right. reaches anywhere. Right. He goes into the heart, mm -hmm. and that is the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So we have to remind the Holy Spirit that, you know what, the church is going off. We need your help okay. here. So, and, and what's your word to the look to the to the church itself to the members i want to tell the church members not to to, to lose heart mm -hmm. take heart i mean not, not to be involved in these battles yeah i mean not to be involved in these battles but don't ignore them mm -hmm. let's keep praying mm -hmm. Pray for upcoming artists like Papa Mutesa, mm -hmm. and, and there are so many ghost parties mm -hmm. that are coming up let's let's pray for the church mm -hmm. let's god is not weak mm -hmm. And it's not that he's not seeing these things. Mm -mm. So we have to just remind him that, you know what, we are going off. We mm -hmm. need your help. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> well say, perfectly said there. <laughs> Let's talk about your music. Yes, yes, um, yes. It hasn't been so long. It's been two years, but already... Yeah, almost a year now. Uh, August last year. It's a year? <laughs> yeah, it's just a year. a year? It's a year. How are it's you finding year. it? Uh, it's been a bit challenging, mm -hmm. but like I said, I came into music not to make money, mm -hmm. though it might happen later, but mm -hmm. the, the, the intention for me joining music is to minister. Mm -hmm. I have a message. Mm -hmm. I have a vision. Mm -hmm. I want my message to get out there. Mm -hmm. So I'm using every finance I have mm -hmm. because like, I work. I'm an engineer. Mm -hmm. So I'm using my money mm -hmm. to make sure I preach the gospel. So music is one avenue, preaching Amen. the gospel. So it's been challenging. Mm -hmm. in, in what sense? Mm -hmm. You see Olivia here, it's very hard. I've been watching you on TV, mm -hmm. but it's not easy to get your phone number mm -hmm. to, to come on your show mm -hmm. because uh, you don't know who to contact. Right. And even if I came here and I told these people, you know what, I want to speak to Olivia. They'll be like, yeah. do you have an appointment? Right. <laughs> you have That's to right. meet the right people. Uh -huh. And once you meet the right people, they'll help you. I've met, mm -hmm. I've met a few people in the industry that have helped me, mm -hmm. and I'm appreciative. That's mm -hmm. why I think my music has moved so fast. Mm -hmm. And I've also leaned towards social media yes, because yes, th there is have. an advantage mm -hmm. in social media in that you can easily track your song's performance. Mm -hmm. You can have statistics. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, once you play my song on air, you can maybe if I'm too lucky, I mm -hmm. can get uh, maybe three times a week. Mm -hmm. If you play my song three times a week, someone might actually hear the song when it's just ending and mm -hmm. they just see Papa Mutesa. Mm -hmm. So when they see Papa Mutesa on TV, they will run. The, the mm -hmm. first thought would be like, how can I access his music? Right. They've got Facebook, YouTube, YouTube Twitter. Right. I'm there. I've, I've organized myself. I, I, I recorded my music in August mm -hmm. last year. Mm -hmm. But I had to give it time to make sure I have all the pages set up. Mm -hmm. I have to do artwork. I have to, to, to so make... Social media is a big player. It's a big and player. And it should be for every artist. It should be for every artist. You have to... Don't, don't just record a song and start sharing it on WhatsApp mm -hmm. when nobody knows. There are so many... The problem with gospel mm -hmm. music, there are so many beautiful songs, mm -hmm. but you don't even know who played the song. Yeah, the yeah. song belongs to who? <laughs> right. And you would want to listen to more of these other songs. Yeah. But because of excitement, this uh -huh. person recorded the song and released it. Yeah, so social media will also um, bring to life the people exactly. themselves, the artists as and, and you can't, to just you the can't push, of the you, you can't market all your songs. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the, the finances will be crazy if I have to market all my 14 songs. Mm -hmm. But if I market a few, mm -hmm. that will pull some people to pay attention to my music. Right. Then they go to and my the channel, rest of they'll find the rest of the songs. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I believe there's many times, I mean, Giovanni here, we uh -huh. were having a conversation and we were trying to figure out why um, some music does a whole lot better than um, some, mm -hmm. and then the DJs are playing some people's music yeah. and maybe not others. So what was it? And um, his submission was, you know what? Uh, sometimes we are looking for a message. Yeah. Him as a DJ, yeah. he, it's beyond just playing a good yeah. vibey song. Yeah. Yeah. He wants a good message. So mm -hmm. how much of an importance is that? Actually, that, 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 is, that is the number one quality mm -hmm. when you're singing gospel music. Right. The message mm -hmm. is the song. Mm -hmm. Like, if the message is wrong, it's, it's theologically wrong, it won't appeal to any, mm -hmm. any, any Christian. Mm -hmm. So when you're writing a gospel song, first of all, you have to read the Bible. Mm -hmm. You have to know what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. And after reading the Bible, you have to now start composing the lyrics. Mm -hmm. To make sure they touch you first of all. Mm. If my song doesn't give me chills, I won't release it. Mm. Because if it doesn't bless me, it won't I, bless I anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> so it has to be. It has to excite me first. It has to make me jump around and I'm like, I can't wait for people to hear this. Right, and that. it has to speak to you. To exactly. Speak to your exactly. spirit. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. So you did bring. Yeah. A little gift along with you. Yeah, I Tell did, us I about that. I, I, I've seen you play in, in some of your videos. Yeah, this, this, this is my dream instrument. Right. I'll, I'll be honest with my fans. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm still learning it. <laughs> I'm not a pro, but uh -huh. it's been my dream instrument. Uh -huh. So I can play something. I can play Why some a worship saxophone, music. Though? It's a personal instrument. You don't mm. need electricity to play it. It's right. like a guitar, uh -huh. but it's, it's, it feels like a baby. You know? Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's so delicate. Delicate. It's so can, can it for you can hold it. It's, 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 hold it's really baby. beautiful. And, and when you learn to play that instrument, it can heal. Heal? Heal. You said? You said the Bible, they, they called David to play. Right. To play for King Saul, and, mm -hmm. and, and he was delivered. Mm -hmm. So when you listen to the soothing music from that instrument, mm -hmm. the, the people have learned it, the professionals, it, it takes away stress. So I feel it like does. this is something I need to have with me. It's so relaxing. <laughs> it is. Oh, this baby. Okay, uh, yeah. will you play us a little something? Uh, yeah, I'll, Let's I'll, see just I'll how play. much. How, how long have you... I've been, been learning, learning it for like uh, since the beginning of this year. Ah, yeah, okay. So are, are a couple of months in, yeah. let's see how good your progress <laughs> is. What are you playing? Well, I'm, I'm playing um, Bamuita Yesu. Bamuita Bamu yeah. Yesu. Okay. Okay, let's see here. <laughs>
<laughs> Pomotesa for you on the sax. Awesome. Thank you. Good job. Good <laughs> job. You, you, that you. is not shabby <laughs> at all. It's not shabby at all. So I guess the next time you come in, you won't I, be. I'll, I'll play for you. <laughs> I'll do a band. I'll take over your show. And <laughs> <laughs> come through and, and take over. Come through and yeah, take over. Yeah. Your last words to someone. Well, um, I want to thank. Right I, I want to mm. thank my fans. Mm. First of all, the people have appreciated my music. I want to thank you I mean, for for picking me out. You're it's we are so many artists, and I mm. feel blessed mm. that I've I've got a chance to come here. Amen. I want to say in my regards to my family, my church members, guys Alive Christian Center. Mm -hmm. I urge you to go to my social media, Papa Mutesa everywhere. Papa mm. Mutesa on TikTok. Papa Mutesa on YouTube. Let's rock. Let's make Jesus viral. Mm. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I, 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 I love that. <laughs> um, we're here for all your music and all the good stuff. So yeah. thank you so much. Thank for, you so much. For making um, some time to come through. And I love to everyone back at church. Thank you. Thank DJ you. Giovanni, thank yes, yes. you so much for, <laughs> for, yeah, you had a good week. Yeah, I had, I, I had a good I, week. I, I believe Musumba Muli. Concert after concert. Eh? Musumba, it's so <laughs> music when we launch. Eh? Mm, if the promotion is good, so. Uh -huh. He has it. Yeah, I and mean. he's doing so well mm. on social media. Yep. Well, um, unfortunately, our time is far spent. It looks like that's our time. We have to be out of here, but for now, come with us. Let's go join Watoto Church for service up until next week.